let's understand implementation of uh, scheduled apex class so in previous lesson you understood how uh, schedule apex is scheduled through code and ui so let's see a real example now so i am just creating a scheduled apex class so i am naming it as daily opportunity processor and uh, using interface as schedulable so i just implemented this schedulable interface now i am going to define execute method so public void execute schedulable context ctx then now i'm going to query some data so list of opportunity opp list equals to select id lead source from opportunity here lead source equals to null and i am setting limit as 200 so after querying this data i am going to implement a loop so this loop will be on opportunity list so one by one the records which are available under opp list will be available in this opp instance and here i am writing opp dot lead source equals to var so wherever lead source is null those records will be queried automatically and uh, uh, their lead source will be set as web and after that i am going to write update opp list and uh, like i can write null check as well so if not opp list dot is empty and inside this i can write this statement so this way uh, this scheduled apex class is implemented so now uh, we can schedule this apex class so we have two options like we can go with code and uh, we can we can go with ui as well so let me just search for the apex classes so here we have apex classes option and uh, i can click on this schedule apex button and uh, let's say i'm uh, naming this job as run opportunity processor daily and here i need to search for the scheduled apex class so those classes where schedulable interface is implemented those class will reflect here automatically so uh, the class name is daily opportunity processor so i am selecting that then i am selecting weekly monday and start date is today's date 23 122 and end date will be 23 to fab so one month duration and preferred time let's say 12 am so this data i provided and i clicked on save right so as soon as i click on save and i go to apex jobs so here you can see one scheduled uh, action is available in here in this row and uh, this is the information right so submitted date and here you can see uh, the apex class through which it will be executed and this is the job id right so this way you can see like whenever you schedule any apex uh, scheduled apex so this way the entry will be available uh, in your apex job list so now after this i am jumping to developer console again and uh, now i am going to implement its test class so daily opp processor test so i i will be implementing its test class so that we can see whether code is covered or not 
is whenever you will be deploying this scheduled apex to production you need test class as well because their limit is 75 percent code coverage so i am creating at the rate is test annotation and then i'm writing a method public static void method name is test scheduled apex So I created a variable OPP list of type list of opportunity. And now I'm going to create some opportunity records. So I'm going to create 500 opportunity records. So if I is less than 250, so different set of opportunity records will be created so opp list dot add the new opportunity name equals to test plus i stays name equals to prospecting and close date equals to System dot today. So this way, uh, this part is implemented now inside else. Uh, I need to implement it false case. So I copy pasted this and here I'm going to provide lead source as well. So I'm providing lead source as web. So basically, so with the help of this loop to, uh, sorry, 500 records will be created, 250 uh, will be having a lead source as web and 250 won't be having um, any lead source. They will be blank. So as a daily, pro daily opportunity processor uh, queries those records where lead source are null. So uh, that's why I created uh, records in such a way. Now I'm writing insert OPP list. So all the opportunity records that we created will be inserted. Then test dot start test and uh, string job ID equals to now here I'm writing system dot schedule and here process opportunities now here i need to pass uh, acronym for date and time where uh, we want to execute this and uh, uh, then the instance of that uh, scheduled apex class so here I'm creating that string as 0, 0, 0, 15 e question mark 2022. And I'm passing that as a parameter here. The new daily OPP processor. So this will be the instance of that scheduled APEX class. Now, After implementing this, I can call test dot stop test. Okay, it is saying variable doesn't exist. Okay, so I just I'm just creating it here. So now this error will be removed. And uh, for assertion, I'm going to create one more list, updated opportunity list. So here I will be querying the data. So select ID 
lead source from opportunity where so now i need to apply the condition so so here in the condition i am writing lead source equals to web now here uh, earlier i mentioned lead source as web so here i am putting other so just jump into object manager and i am going to open opportunity object under fields and relationships i am going to search for lead source and in lead source like we have these pick list values so i am choosing others here because what uh, will happen like uh, on these 250 records like uh, we have not provided any lead source so after execution they will be having lead source as web and uh, if i provide lead source web here as well so a uh, total number of records will be more so uh, out of these 500 like 250 will be having lead source as other and 250 is having nothing as lead source now when i execute this code when i execute this code so this uh, statement will be executing that scheduled apex and uh, after execution uh, we need to make sure like uh, uh, we we have uh, some uh, opportunity records where lead source is available right so So here I'm going to write system dot assert equals and expected 200 and then update opportunity list dot size. So these two arguments will be compared. If they are equal, then this assert will be executed properly, otherwise not. So uh, this way, this test class is implemented. And uh, now uh, we need to execute this test class so that we can see like uh, whether the code is completely covered or not. So now uh, if I run this test class, so here you can see this crone expression. So earlier I uh, mistakenly uh, said uh, this has acronym. So this is not acronym, this is crone expression. So here uh, uh, for test class, like you can, put a question mark and then asterisk, asterisk, asterisk. So it will be executed uh, like every midnight. So you can use this Chrome expression for uh, test class. Now, just opening this tray and uh, clicking on tests, run test. So it is executed successfully, no error is there. And if I go here and if I check the code coverage, so it is 100%. Every statement is covered with the help of this test class. So this way, like uh, scheduled Apex, I demonstrated with the help of this schedulable interface. And I also demoed you like how you can implement its test class.